Hey guys, what's up? Thomas here with SketchUp Architect, and I am pretty excited this morning because I just got something in the mail that I, I ordered. And what I have here is the Acer Predator Helos 300. So I'm pretty excited about this laptop. This is a, a technically it's a gaming laptop, but I'm going to be using it more for architectural rendering and 3D modeling. Um, so I'm pretty excited. One thing I'm not too excited about is if you could look down here, you can see there's a little bit of a, a dent right there. Um, it doesn't look like it went all the way through, so hopefully no real damage. But anyways, I'm going to be digging into this laptop and uh, installing some 3D software. So. Uh, this is the actual laptop right here. And first impression so far is that this thing is pretty heavy. It uh, seems like a pretty solid laptop so far, even though I haven't actually opened it up yet. And I got this uh, nice uh, welcome card from Predator. This is the laptop, uh, the Acer Predator 300 or Helos 300. And let's go ahead and open it up and let's see if I can get under it without it sliding around. I probably should, shouldn't have it on this box here, but there it is. It's got this nice little cover here and it looks good. So I don't believe it has a charge, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge it for a while and then I'll get into it. So stay tuned. A beast of a laptop also deserves a beast of a laptop case. I went ahead and purchased the Case Matix Elite Custom Waterproof Laptop Case. Yes, it's a bit of an overkill, but it is heavy duty and looks great. So if you have subscribed to sketchuparchitect.com to our mailing list, you should have got an email a while back about the five best laptops for SketchUp. So one of those laptops is the Acer Predator Helos 300. So now that I have this laptop, I want to show you just how, um, how this laptop handles SketchUp and Lumion and AutoCAD. So let's take a look at how it, how it works. So first up we have Lumion and right now I have a fairly complex scene here. I have a, a lot of uh, a lot of things are going on in this um, particular model that I have and it seems to run pretty smoothly with it. Um, not as good as my laptop but on my laptop I have the 1080 Ti uh, video card and this laptop contains the 1660 Ti, I believe, which is still pretty good. Um, I feel like I can still work in this one. Um, I think for Lumion, I would still prefer my lap, my desktop, but if I had to work on this, I could do it. So um, one other thing I wanna show you is when we go to our benchmark for Lumion, let me go to our info here, and if I click here, the computer speed, here we can see that it is maxed out in all the benchmarks, uh, on all the benchmarks results. And this is Lumion 8.5 I'm currently running. Um, right now there is a Lumion 10, which will be a little bit more intense. So I'm not sure how it will perform on that one, but as you can see right here, um, it is basically maxing out on everything. So, so pretty good for this laptop. So now let's look at SketchUp. So here I have SketchUp 2019, SketchUp Pro. Uh, I have the same model that I had in Lumion and works very smoothly, um, just very quick. You know, I can move around and maneuver my model. So no problems at all working in SketchUp with this uh, Acer Predator. So, and one thing I do really like about this particular laptop is how this keyboard feels. It feels really nice, uh, really, uh, just a pleasure to work on. So I could definitely work on SketchUp models with this laptop. So now let's look at one more software, which is AutoCAD. So here I have AutoCAD Lite 2020. Now I'm not doing any 3D work with this particular uh, AutoCAD version, but again, works very good, processes the graphics very clear. Um, you know, I could do whatever I have to do and uh, very nice, um, better than my desktop, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no, it just depends on your preferences, but I definitely could work in AutoCAD 
and SketchUp with this laptop. And if I had to, I could work with Lumion. So again, I'm very happy with this purchase. I think it's a great laptop for, for doing some work or just for showing a client a model. If I need to show them a model in SketchUp or even Lumion, I could do that. So um, one other thing I wanna show you is the render times. So if I go to render a scene, let's go to my movie icon here and let's see I had a movie set up for this one already so if I go to render movie and if I went to let's say 60 frames per second at the max quality which this would take long even with my desktop let's go ahead and click and see how long it will take and I'll just let's just give it just a, a random name here and let's see what it how long it tells me it will take just give it a second to process that. And here we can see this right here, 137 hours. Wow. Uh, well, it's going down a little bit, but that is quite a long time. So not the fastest uh, program or not the fastest processor for, for rendering a movie to that quality. But now let's take it down a bit. Let me escape out of that. I don't want to wait that long for this thing to render. So let's cancel out. Say OK, and let's go back. Let's let's try it on just something more reasonable. Let's go to let's say 30 frames per second at just production quality, full HD, and we'll just go ahead and save over that one. And yes, that's OK. And let's see what it tells us now. Let's give it a few seconds there. Um, Okay, so it's taking quite a long while there. 22 hours it's saying. So I think that is quite a bit. I'm not sure if it's because it's not plugged in at the moment. I believe uh, it has a turbo option. Let me see if I can show you that on the keyboard here. Right here, there's a turbo option that I can click that and it will uh, speed up the process, but you have to have it plugged in for that to work right there. So that may be one of the reasons why it's taking a little longer. It's not in that overclocked uh, turbo mode there. So that could speed it up a little bit, but again, probably not the best um, product for rendering. Um, unless you had to, I'm sure you could do it, but I prefer it on my desktop. But if I had to do some work, I definitely could make it work with this laptop. So, so there you go. That's this uh, review for this Acer Predator Helos 300 on how it handles architecture software. Okay, so after a few days of using the laptop, um, I think this laptop is a great laptop if you're working in SketchUp, if you're working in AutoCAD, uh, this laptop will handle those like a pro. For Lumion, I think it's a little, um, it's, a, it's not as smooth as a desktop, but as you can see, it maxed out on all the benchmarks. So it's definitely capable of, of handling Lumion. So he, uh, the Predator, Acer Predator, Helos 300, definitely a good laptop if you're an architecture student, if you're an architecture professional that just needs a laptop to, to go in the field or be mobile with, this is a definitely a good laptop. Um, I'm happy with the purchase, and I think you will be too if you end up buying this laptop. If you don't mind the gaming look of it, you know, it has that, that logo on the bottom that lights up, and um, I don't mind it, you know. Uh, if you, if you, you feel a little bit weird about that, then, then maybe you wanna go with uh, another laptop. For the same specs though, you're gonna spend more money. So if you don't mind that, I think it's a great laptop. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and also um, subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for courses on 3D modeling, on rendering, uh, visit my webpage at www.sketchuparchitect.com. So thanks and I will see you next time. And one more thing, I usually don't work in my kitchen, but I thought it would be a good setting for this video. Thanks.